up reactors today I got another reaction for you guys today and it is coming from Screen Rant and it is the pitch meeting for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 this man Ryan George is absolutely hilarious with these pitch meetings and I'm eager to see what he comes up with for my second favorite movie of the year Sonic the Hedgehog 2 if you guys haven't seen my TikTok review it's on my TikTok and it's also posted here on my YouTube channel also my spoiler review for that movie is posted so make sure you guys give that a watch. With that being said, let's watch this pitch meeting. So you have a Sonic sequel for me? Yes, sir, I do. Amazing. So do we stick with the cute Sonic design or do we go back to that original nightmare one we had? I mean, I was thinking the cute one. You sure? Because we got a ton of press from the one that looked like it drank blood. Yeah, no, <laughs> I think we go with the cute one for sure. Okay, so what happens in this thing? Well, Sonic's human friends Tom and Maddie travel to Hawaii, right? Using one of Sonic's portal rings. Kind of raises some security questions that they could just travel that way. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so they got to go there because Maddie's sister Rachel's getting married there at whatever luxury resort gives us the most money for product placement. Oh, I like the sound of that. I'm gonna get four seasons on the phone. So Sonic is left at home Olive alone, Garden. and that's when Robotnik's gonna come for him. Oh no, how does he manage that? Well, since the events of the first movie, Robotnik's been on another planet eating mushrooms, trying to communicate with other planets. Been there. And eventually a portal opens and Knuckles the Echidna comes through. He's from the games! He sure is, sir. He's red. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Yeah, so Knuckles wants to know where Robotnik got this blue Sonic quill, because he's trying to find something called the Master Emerald. Okay. So Robotnik says he can show him the way so he can get off this mushroom planet. Smart. And he's going to do that flossing dance, too. That's going to be fun for kids. <laughs> okay, I mean, people already said that was old when we did it in the last Sonic movie. Well, that's the thing about internet references, sir. They just get better with age. That's not accurate. So anyway, now Robotnik and Knuckles are at Sonic's door, and Knuckles is beating the crap out of them. Oh, no. Yeah, and Sonic's trying to use his super super speed, but he's no match for this guy because he's fast too. Jeez, well sounds like he's met his match. It's gonna be hard to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, Tails drives in with a cop car and hits Knuckles with it. He was able to dodge the fastest creature on the planet, but not a human vehicle. That's what we're going with, so he and Sonic run away. And so why is Tails here now? Well, he's been watching Sonic from another planet for a while and decides to come help him. Uh, watching people from a distance is tight. Yeah, <laughs> well, to be honest, it's crazy creepy when you do it, sir, but Tails is cute, so it's okay. That's fair. So they go take a look at this map that Longclaw the Owl had left Sonic, and this hologram message pops out. Why does it activate now? Because the movie's plot is underway now. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. So they find out they need to go to Siberia to get their hands on this compass that'll lead them to the Emerald. Very chilly. So they end up in the Siberian bar wearing disguises, but their disguises get taken off. Oh, is everybody that freaked scene. out by the two little aliens in their bar? No, that's not how people would react. They're gonna check Challenge them to a dance-off, obviously. What? Why? Because this way we can have a dance-off scene. Right. Plus, the Siberian people get a hold of the map, so if Sonic wants it back, he's gotta dance. He can move so fast the time stands still. He's gotta dance. There's no right? other way, so he and Tails dance to Uptown Funk. Or the hottest track of 2014. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they win. They do. Amazing. <laughs> They're gonna end up finding the compass up in these mountains, but Knuckles and Robotnik swoop in and steal it. Oh, no. Yeah, now there's an avalanche, so they've gotta do something. So what do they do? Well, Sonic calls Tom and tells him to use a portal ring to bring them to Hawaii, but Tom realizes he switched up the portal ring with the wedding ring. Oh, so he goes and explains the mix-up to her? Well, no, because if he explained it, there wouldn't be much room for comedy, so he's just gonna try to grab the ring during the ceremony without any context. That is funnier than him trying to solve it rationally with his words. That's right, sir. So then Sonic and Tails and an avalanche come through a portal into the wedding. Very wacky hijinks. And then we find out that Rachel's fiance and the whole wedding party. They were agents this whole time. Right. What? Yeah, they had one of their guys get into a long-term relationship with Sonic's human sister-in-law so they could hopefully trap Sonic one day. That doesn't make any sense. They planned a whole wedding, flew all their agents to Hawaii, booked a luxury resort, all because they wanted to catch Sonic. How could they have even known that Sonic would show up there? He was just escaping an avalanche. Yeah, no, they didn't know. How could they have predicted the avalanche? Out all the they flaws. didn't know he'd be there. If they knew he was involved with that family, why not just show Minor. up at the house instead of fake seducing? and marrying him 
marrying the sister-in-law. Oh, well, don't worry, sir, because they actually did fall in love. What, who, the sister and the agent? <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, at first, when she finds out, she's going to be very mad. She's going to go all bridezilla, rampage around. I... She chases him around and everything, drives a golf cart, looks badass. Okay, and where's Sonic during this whole thing? But when the agent finally gets a chance to explain himself, he's going to explain that, that he review. really did fall in love with her, even though this started out as just a plan. This is a Sonic movie, right? Where is he? <laughs> well, they're going to be all right, sir. This agent and Rachel, I think they're going to be all right. Why are we spending so much time on this? Where's Sonic? Oh, right. Okay, yeah. I guess we could be done with this random romantic comedy shoved into the middle of this movie with side characters that have little to no impact on the plot. Okay, back to Sonic. I mean, yes, please. Anyway, so in the meantime, Robotnik got his hands on the Emerald, which lets him, like, create anything he wants. Uh-oh. Yeah, so they see this massive sky beam from the coast of Hawaii, so Sonic's got to get there. Wow, well, thank God the wedding happened to be taking place within visible distance of the Emerald. Yeah, it worked out great. Hey, so hold on. We have a sky Sky Beam and a bad guy with similar powers but a different color? Yeah. We may get a freaking Marvel movie over here? Kind of, sir. Except by the end of this movie, Knuckles is going to be a good guy. Oh, he is? Yeah, he learned the power of friendship and whatnot. Oh, sick! So Robotnik's going to create this giant Eggman robot, and they're going to have to fight it. Very exciting. So then Sonic turns into Super Sonic, and he cuts the head off this robot, and he pushes Robotnik down from hundreds of feet in the air. Oh, my God. What? Sonic just straight up kills a guy? Even Batman pretends to not do that. Well, we don't know if he's dead or not. Right, but Sonic knocks him down from a fatal height and doesn't help him. Yeah, he does. That's... That's pretty intense. <laughs> no, it's not, actually. So then everybody's friends and everybody's happy and don't think about that pushing a guy to his death thing too much and they play <laughs> baseball with Knuckles. Wow, well, it sounds like a fun movie, you know? Yeah, it will be. Plus, in this one, Jim Carrey's gonna have the big mustache and the bald head like Robotnik. Ah, so maybe in the next movie we could put him in a big brown fat suit, you know, complete the transformation. That'd be kind of perfect, sir. I don't see why we couldn't do that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That was another good uh, good video from Ryan again. Uh, pitch meetings. I love his pitch meetings. Now they got their own channel. So make sure you guys, make sure you guys subscribe to pitch meetings on YouTube. Definitely, definitely do that. Absolutely hilarious. Been watching him for a very long time. It's like a schedule watch for me. After I see a movie, he makes a pitch meeting. I have to go and watch it. Now I can share my reactions with you guys as well. So, not only that, not only subscribe to them, but subscribe to me, but also go see Sonic 2 if you haven't seen it. Help out the channel by smashing this like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. With that being said, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. I am Reel It In Miles, and this is Reel It In Reactions. Peace.